Sorry. Look, I, I don't care what it costs. Move the drilling to a more eco-friendly area or I pull out my backing. It's as simple as that. What's wrong with you? I'm just trying to mobilize. It's all. How, how bad are you hurt? Um, pretty, I, I'm, I'm paying the price for the pursuit of male perfection, is all. Hey, Mercedes, when you're done with that, can you take Morgan out for a while? Maybe to my mom's? Sure. Is everything okay? Yeah, Jax is coming home, and I don't want Morgan to hear his fight. Then why don't we try dealing with each other instead? Diane just uh, gave me some very surprising news. Jace has taken over a lot of the business. Glad to hear that, but I was referring to the fact that you gave custody of the children over to Carly. That you've signed a termination of your parental rights. Yeah. I'd like you to do the same thing for Christina. for that just got distracted for a moment and thought that you were yeah you thought I was your fiance right right there's a part of me that'll never stop hoping to see her again I guess it's just a reflex yeah yeah your guy Alf Alfred he's having my, my clothes washed I'm taking it that um, Emily used to wear this old robe sometimes yeah occasionally she would you know were you guys going to get married and, and live in this creepy old house together? <laughs> I mean, it, I'm not criticizing. You should see where my family lives. I just I imagine that everything in this place reminds you of Emily. Yeah. Do you ever think of moving out or starting over? Uh, it wouldn't matter. She'd be with me no matter where I am. Let me give you a little piece of advice, okay? You seem like a really decent guy. At some point, sooner or later, you're going to have to put one foot in front of the other and realize that you have a future. You, you, you really wouldn't understand. Try you, me. It, it wouldn't make sense to you unless you've been in completely, completely in love with someone and then lost them. Love is a disaster waiting to happen, especially for anyone in my family. Federico Cabrero is the new name in the fashion world. Everyone who's anyone wants to get invited to one of his parties, and he called to invite me personally. He's just sucking up to Kate. Federico and I had an amazing time in New York. He said he wants me to bring a date, someone worthy of my fabulousness, is how he put it. His loft is amazing. You'd have a great time. Besides, you owe me. I meant the gift or helping you out in some way. Oh, you'd be helping me. And the magazine. You'd be that little extra flash to put us over the top. The perfect accessory. You're going to have to find somebody else to accessorize you. <sighs> you don't know what you'll be missing. I think he does. Maxie, thank you for the offer. I'll talk to you later. Mm. Bye. Ow! Does it hurt to crash and burn that hard? Oh, that wasn't a total loss. Really? Because uh, Johnny could care less about Federico fashion and you. That's fine. But your boyfriend still owes me a favor. Mm. Well, show a little pride and try not to collect. You wish. <clears throat> Oh, you can't hide your desperation no matter what you wear. <laughs> I'm 
Fair Samantha has been kind enough to instruct me in the ways of pumping up, but as uh, Stone Cold can see the jackal is less than adept and has a long, arduous road ahead before he can achieve physical prowess. Why, why are you doing this? <sighs> to enhance myself in Maximista's eyes. You're working out because of Maxi? If I can increase my muscle tone, acquire, as it were, a six-pack and guns, then maybe she'll view me as a worthy romantic partner. Why are you here? I didn't want to startle the customers in the coffee house with my less than manly yelps of pain, so I retired here to the confines of Mr. Sir's office. Please do not tell him I trespassed in his domain. You know, that's uh, something we need to talk about. I'm taking over for Sonny. I know it must have been very difficult for you to give up your My lot more than difficult, and... Alexis. You did the right thing. You put your kids in front of yourself and it shows how much you love them so i'm just asking that you give the same consideration to your daughter alexis do you think christina would be better off without me no i don't sonny because i know that she loves you she has a relationship with you that i think is important i just want to be able to control the boundaries of that relationship so that i can ensure her safety I want to keep her protected. I want to keep her away from the bodyguards. I want to keep her away from you being arrested and all that goes with it. What I'm not going to be able to protect is how she feels about you. Because at some point, she's going to find out what you do. Mm-hmm. Probably from a friend at school, but she's going to find out that you're a criminal. I've watched the way Michael struggled with who you are what you did how the lines between right and wrong were always blurred for him he wanted so much to believe that what you did was okay that the violence was okay he wanted so much to be just like you Michael wanted a lot of things he's not going to have any but more than well and Christina can and you need to create a future for her that is unencumbered by the violence in your life I know this means a lot to you don't say no. Don't say no. Listen to me. If you love her, you will do what's best for her. I lost Michael. I gave up Morgan. I can't. Can't give up. I can't. I can't give up Christina. You're going to go over Grandma Bobby's house and she's going to make you macaroni and cheese with the crust on top. I know that's your favorite. You have fun, okay? Okay. Okay. Hey, how about we go to the park this weekend and practice your t-ball? T-ball, agree. Okay. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see about that. Come on. All right. You have fun. I love you, baby. I'll see you in the morning. Bye. Bye. We'll see? What, what does that mean? Well, you know, he's lost his brother and his father. I don't want him to set his hopes on a future that seems less and less likely. Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself? Not you think you should admit it? Our marriage is falling apart. So you do this for your sons, but you won't do it for your daughter. Don't do that. You said that's that you that's, that's not what this is about. You, you know I love Christine. I don't say that. Prove it. termination of your parental And that's going to change everything. It'll help. I'm not going to walk away from Christina anymore than I'm walking away from Michael or Morgan. You gave up custody to Carly. I signed a piece of paper. That's all it was. Carly blames me for it, what happened to Michael. She, she wants to punish me. She wants to hate me. So uh, I'm letting her. Wow. She was about to run with Morgan. She, she's lashing out. I'm an easy target. If I fight her, it's going to make it worse. Eventually, you know, she'll just see reason. So that's why you're doing this, because you think that she'll give the kids back to you? Okay, I've known Carly a long time. The more you fight her, the crazier she's going to get, okay? Sooner or later, hopefully sooner, she'll come around, Okay. She'll, she'll admit she's wrong. She's not wrong. I'm changing. I'm trying to do something different. For my children. Jason's running the business. I'm keeping the, 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 the coffee business because it's legitimate. So this is just an empty gesture, so you're just doing this uh, to play Kid Carly? Do you want to get involved in this, Alexis? I don't think you do. We're going to work things out. 
is what I'm saying to you. Do you 